It can be difficult to assimilate into American culture. There are so many unspoken customs and references that I don't even know that I don't know. And all of this is further complicated by the fact that the United States is a nation that constantly reboots its film franchises. Just when I got used to Tobey Maguire soaring between New York City skyscrapers as Spider-Man, all of a sudden it's Andrew Garfield up there. Then I get used to him, and suddenly it's some other guy named Tom Holland. It's a lot to deal with when you haven't grown up in this culture. It feels so isolating when I try to relate to my coworkers over the animated Beauty and the Beast movie, and then they tell me it's live action now, and that there are even new songs. At that point, you just have to stop talking and try to follow along the best way you can. It's frustrating to love a film like 21 Jump Street and then hear someone say that it's almost as good as the original TV series. I thought it was the original. Then I have to go back to square one and figure out where the whole narrative started. I just want to be a normal American who can chat with her neighbors about the planet of the apes without having to second guess whether we're talking about the James Franco version or the Charlton Heston version. Is the planet mostly apes with some humans or is it mostly humans with some apes? Oh my God, I forgot about Mark Wahlberg. There are days when I'm like seven hours into sorting through all the different iteration of the mummy and the scorpion king, and I just think, I want to go back home, but I have to remind myself that I'm doing this so one day my children won't have to. What gives me hope though, is being here when franchise like John Wick hits theaters for the first time and knowing down the line when it gets remade by some person who hasn't been born yet, I'll be ready. Moments like that let me know that I can overcome any hardship, even the inevitable Back to the Future reboot.